All righty. So um, now before we get started, let's just cover the formalities. It's just something that we need to do. And that is going to be the disclaimer. All right, so um, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody who just joined us. So we are starting right now. Uh, as a matter of fact, we are late by one minute already. So um, without any further ado, let's get to the meat and potatoes. First thing that we need to get out of, of the way is the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and um, all cryptocurrency investments are risky. So before you buy stake yield, you need to do your own research. And remember that this training has nothing to do with recruiting anyone to, into anything. It's just uh, pure information that uh, should help us um, start, grow, and grow our, our crypto portfolios, right? So um, today's session is going to be about setting up your MetaMask wallet, all right? So, all right, so let me just let me just confirm a little, um, again, just one more time. Can you can you guys still hear me? Please, can you tap yes in the chat box? Um, can you hear me clearly? Okay, yes, 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 yes. All right, cool. Thank you so much. All right, so now, now that we have covered the basics of uh, DeFi, which is decentralized finance, we are now getting to um, where we are now um, going to be using different tools in order for us to be able to uh, participate in different um, DeFi projects. Again, the aim is to, is to build and grow a diversified crypto portfolio. So the first tool that we're gonna be learning today, um, how to set it up from scratch, configure it, secure it, is going to be the MetaMask wallet, which is a decentralized wallet, all right? So with that being said, Let's jump right in into this tool called MetaMask, right? So I'm gonna go back and share my, my screen again, which is going to be this one here. Um, it is showing the CoinGecko page, right? But if you take a look at the upper right-hand side, you should be able to see uh, the fog icon or the MetaMask icon here. Can you guys see the the, the, the MetaMask icon on the I mean, on the on the on the on the on the toolbar there, where my, my mouse pointer is hovering? Just uh, please, can you give me um, a couple of yeses there? Okay, all right, okay. Thank you so much for that confirmation. So now, what I will do is, um, if you take a look at this toolbar here, you can see that I also have a bunch of other. Um, decentralized exchange uh, buttons or icons, but again, our focus is going to be MetaMask. Now, uh, what I will do is I will remove MetaMask completely from my Chrome browser so that, so that we can start over again together and follow the steps. So I'm removing it completely. All right. And then uh, the first step that you need to take in order to configure and download your MetaMask wallet, you need to make sure that you go to metamask.io. It's not .com, it's not .org, it is .io. It is very, very important that when you are installing apps uh, or when you are um, doing transactions, on different platforms and exchanges, you need you need to make sure that you are on the on the correct on the, on the correct place, uh, because there are so many scammers out today who can just uh, create something that looks like MetaMask, and then as soon as you create and start to do some transactions on that thing, they will steal your crypto. So always double check the address that you are uh, working on on your uh, address bar there. So it's MetaMask.io, and what I will do is. I will just scroll down a bit and then click on download now. So again, remember, we are setting up our MetaMask from scratch so that we can be able to participate in different uh, crypto portfolios, specifically in uh, DeFi um, related um, 
system, right? So by default, it select Chrome because it sees that I am on Chrome. I will, I will be downloading the Chrome extension. But if you are using a smartphone, an iOS based phone, or an Android, you want to do you want, you want to download. Uh, the app onto your phone, you can just click on one of these buttons. But in our case, for this demonstration, we are using Chrome. So Chrome is selected. Now what I will do is, I will go down a little bit and then click on install MetaMask for Chrome. Right? So again, we are learning today how to set up your MetaMask wallet correctly. And um, be able to use it. So now on this page now, I just need to click on add to Chrome so that uh, the MetaMask extension can be added. And then I need to click the add extension button here. Now remember MetaMask is just a wallet. It's a decentralized wallet. And you're gonna be connecting this decentralized wallet with other decentralized um, platforms like exchanges and so on and so forth. So right now we are downloading and adding the MetaMask wallet on to our Chrome browser. But um, even if you are using the Firefox browser or the Brave browser, you can do the same thing. Or if you are using a smartphone, as I showed you, you can uh, download the app and make sure that you're downloading it from the official MetaMask website, right? And if you, if you scroll down a little bit, um, you can um, learn more about MetaMask and so on and so forth. But in our case, we're just waiting for uh, Chrome to check and get our MetaMask uh, extension added to the Chrome browser. So right now it has been added such that if I click on this little button here at the upper right hand side corner there, when I click on it, now I'll be able to see the list of all the extensions that are displayed on my toolbar there, right? But because Chrome is not, I mean, MetaMask is not there yet, you can, uh, I will click the, the, the pin button so that I can pin the MetaMask extension so that it stays um, viewable on the toolbar here, right? So I have downloaded it and I have um, pinned it to the toolbar here. Now the next step is to now, Go down a little bit. We're gonna to have to click the get started button. And then we're gonna have two options. The one on the left, it says import wallet. In, in, in other words, if you already have a wallet, you can import it. Or maybe you were using a, uh, a laptop or um, a, la a smartphone, maybe you lost your phone or something like that, but you stored your secret recovery phrase with, as I will show you, you can just import that wallet because it already existed. And then the second option is to create a new wallet from scratch. So for this demonstration, we're gonna be creating a brand new um, MetaMask wallet. So I'll just click the create a wallet button there. And then uh, by all means, take your time and read all the information that will be written on the page. But because of time, we are not going to read everything. We just need to agree to terms and conditions. And then we need to give it a password and make sure that your password is long and super secure. And I'm now confirming my password, right? Then I'm gonna check the terms and conditions page, I mean checkbox, and then I click on create. So I just created um, a new MetaMask wallet. And then if I go down a bit, Now I need to click the next button. By all means, you can watch this video and uh, you know learn um, more about uh, MetaMask Wallet, how to secure your wallet. But in our case, we are going to click the next button. And then now this is the most important part that you make sure that you do not um, um, you know uh, mess around. Okay, secret recovery phrase. So your secret recovery phrase makes it easy to back up and restore your account, right? So warning, never disclose your secret cover, uh, recovery phrase. Anyone with this phrase can take your ether and any other cryptocurrency that is in your MetaMask. So the, the recovery phrase shouldn't be shared with anyone, right? So if I click here, where it says click here to reveal my secret words. 
that's when it's going to, 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 to reveal uh, the secret words for this particular MetaMask wallet. So I'll click on that now. And you can see th this is now the secret um, words for this particular MetaMask wallet. What I will do is I will copy these words because again, if my device uh, that I'm using, uh, you know, crashes or something, or I lose it, I will have to use the same recovery phrase to restore or to import my MetaMask wallet on a different device. Or maybe uh, you started creating your MetaMask wallet using your laptop or desktop, but you also will not be able to access the same wallet on your smartphone. You would use the same recovery phrase to import your same MetaMask wallet that is an extension onto your smartphone, right? So I have uh, copied all these words and then I will click the next button. And now I need to confirm uh, the secret uh, recovery phrase by just pasting them here, all right? So I already copied it, but now I need to uh, enter them in the, in the specific order that was given to me, right? So let's just uh, do that. So the first one was wool. Where is wool? So right, wool and wallet, but on your smartphone. So now I need to click the confirm button. And then as you can see, it says, congratulations, um, you passed the test. Keep your secret recovery phrase safe. I cannot emphasize this uh, enough. It's very, very important that you, do, you don't lose access to your recovery phrase and you do not share it with anyone because if you lose it, uh, you won't be able to get access back to your MetaMask wallet and uh, even MetaMask themselves, they can't help you uh, recover that uh, particular MetaMask account if you lose your recovery phrase. All right, so just to recap, what we have done so far is to download and, 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 and install the MetaMask um, extension on the Chrome browser. Just now we just finished all the steps uh, when it comes to configuring it. Um, and as you can see now, the wallet is ready to be used, right? But you would notice that it uh, defaults to the Ethereum blockchain. Now the Ethereum, the fees on the Ethereum blockchain are, are very high. So we are not going to be using um, uh, the, 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 the Ethereum blockchain uh, for our sessions. We're going to be, we are going to be using the uh, Binance Smart Chain blockchain, right? So now what does that mean? It means that now we need to connect the, we need to connect the, the Binance blockchain to our MetaMask, all right? So how do we go about doing that? I can close this window. I don't need it. I can close this one and this one, right? So again, when I click on the fog icon at the upper right hand side there to access my MetaMask wallet, right? Again, as you can see, it defaults to, uh, to Ethereum. Now, but we want to we want to um, to use the Binance blockchain, right? So now, how do we add the Binance blockchain here? Okay, maybe before we even do this here, let me switch to another window and show you another um, MetaMask wallet that already has uh, quite a number of um, of blockchains connected to it, right? So if I go back to Firefox and share, so now if I click on this MetaMask wallet here, notice what's going to happen. It's going to um, it's going to open, and you're going to see a list of all the blockchains uh, that I have connected to this particular MetaMask. If only it can just open that thing for me. All right. So you can see that uh, the last uh, blockchain that I used um, for, uh, on this MetaMask wallet was uh, the Avalanche uh, blockchain. So if I click this down arrow here, you can see that um, obviously the Ethereum blockchain is the, the default one, but there's also a lot of other, other blockchains, right? So uh, I added the Fuse Network blockchain, IOTEX blockchain, the Velas Manic blockchain, KCC blockchain, and if you scroll down, um, I added the Polygon Minute blockchain, Avalanche is selected because that's where we add Phantom and Binance blockchain, right? So if I want to switch to this blockchain, I can just do that. And then after that, I can connect it to a, um, a platform or an exchange that would allow me to trade cryptocurrencies that are built on top of the Binance uh, blockchain, right? So uh, let me switch back to the Chrome browser so that we can so that I can show you how to add uh, 
different blockchains, how to connect different blockchains to your MetaMask so that you can interact with that different system um, that you want to work with, right? So let me just go back to Chrome again. And I must remember to share this screen uh, here and then click on share. Okay, so now we are back to this one. So let's just add the, the Binance blockchain. The easiest way of doing this is this tool here. It's called chainlist.org, right? Because we, could, we, can, we can do it manually. For instance, we can go back to the MetaMask wallet and then we can click on this button, this round button here. And then we can go to settings if, if we wanted to do it manually, right? And then we can go down to networks. And then we need to go down and then click on the add network button. And then here, what we would do is we would manually enter those, um, um, all of this, the information that is required here, just type it manually or copy and paste, right? But there is a better way, an easier way and safer way to do this, right? So again, as I said, we're gonna be using chainlist.org. Again, always double check the spelling um, of the address of the page that you're looking at, right? So we're going to be using chainlist um, to add the, Binance blockchain, right? So the first thing that you need to do is to connect the chain list uh, tool or the chain list system to our MetaMask, right? So I'm going to click the connect wallet button. It is just looking at me. Okay, guys, I'm trying to connect, but uh, for some reason it's not, it's not responding. And it's not even giving me any error message. Let me check here. Yes, I'm still uh, logged on to my MetaMask wallet. So let me try to, okay, let me refresh this page. All right, and then uh, I will try to connect again. Right, it seems to be seeing my MetaMask now. So I will click the next button and then click on connect. So, so again, I'm connecting uh, my MetaMask wallet, which is this one here with the chain list platform so that they can communicate, right? Now where it says search networks, remember the first network that we want to connect to our MetaMask wallet is Binance. So we're just gonna type Binance in there right? And then you can see that um, we have two options. This one here, if you hover your mouse pointer over the words uh, Binance Smart Chain, you can see that this is, the, this is the main net. That's what you want to add to your MetaMask wallet. And then if you hover your mouse pointer over the, next, the, 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 the second option, it says test net, Binance Smart Chain test net. Now, this is, as, 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 the, as, as the word implies, this is just a, a test network. It's, it's not uh, a network that you can use to do um, actual um, transactions. So we are installing the mainnet, the block, uh, the Binance blockchain mainnet. So I will just uh, click on add to MetaMask. We are now connecting the what? The Binance blockchain to our MetaMask, right? So you can see that uh, MetaMask um, displays a notification here with everything that we should have typed, uh, that we could have typed manually which is the network name with the UR, network URL, chain ID. If you click on view all details, all of this stuff, we used to type them manually, but now using chainlist.org, this information is auto-populated and all we need to do is to go and click the approve button, right? And then I can even switch from the Ethereum blockchain to the BSC blockchain. So if I go back to the MetaMask wallet, now you would notice that we are now connected to the what? To the Binance Smart Chain main network, all right? So then going forward, it means that we can trade all the cryptocurrencies that are compatible with the Binance Smart Chain uh, blockchain and the fees are very, very low compared to um, the, the, the fees that you would incur if you are using a, uh, a um, 
a block, I mean, a, an Ethereum blockchain, right? So another thing that you can do, which is an optional thing that you can do, you see where it says account one, what you can do is you can rename that and maybe just give it your name. So I just click on that uh, three dots but, uh, uh, menu there. Then I'll go to account details uh, and then I'll click on this pen and I will give it a name. You do not have to do this, but uh, it's just uh, something that is uh, optional that you can do just to, for you to be able to easily identify your wallet and then just click on save. So now if we close this, it no longer says account one, but it says Musa the Giant, right? So this is going to be the, the receiving address uh, for your MetaMask. If someone wanted to send you uh, some tokens that are based, are based to the Binance blockchain, you would send them these um, your 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 receiving address, or if you if you wanted to send some BNB from your uh, from your Binance wallet uh, to your MetaMask wallet, because maybe you want to stake uh, some tokens or coins, you would use this um, address here that would appear here and send the BNB to that address to that address, and then your balance here will reflect as soon as uh, the transaction is completed, right? So so far we have just connected uh, the first blockchain to our MetaMask, but remember the initial one was, I mean, the, 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 the default one was Ethereum. So we just added Binance, all right? So just to recap, we just learned how to, um, how to install and configure the MetaMask wallet and how to connect it to different blockchains. But let's go ahead and connect another blockchain. Uh, let's say you are researching a certain token or a certain, a, a, a certain um, platform and then you notice that uh, actually that one is on the avalanche uh, blockchain and you want to be able to trade it right so let's just go back to to, to con gecko here and then um let's look for for instance for a token called joe right so if i click on joe and then if i scroll down a little bit you would notice that um this particular platform or this token is built on top of the what? On top of the Avalanche blockchain. It's not on top of the Ethereum, it's not on top of the BSC blockchain, but it's on the Avalanche blockchain. So now it means that in order for us to be able to trade, buy and sell this um, cryptocurrency called Joe, we need to be able to, to connect our MetaMask with the what? With the Avalanche blockchain. So even, when, if, even if you, you scroll down, uh, the text would also remind you that this token belongs to it. It belongs to the Avalanche ecosystem, right? So now let's go back to our chain list. Now we want to add the what? The Avalanche, Avalanche blockchain, right? Again, as you can see, when you hover your mouse pointer there, it tells you that this is the tested version of the Avalanche blockchain. And then if you hover over the next one, it says Avalanche main network. That's what you want to add. So I will just click on add to MetaMask. I am now connecting the what? The Avalanche blockchain to my MetaMask. So I just clicked on add to MetaMask. And then again, we used to enter all this information manually. And you, if you make a mistake, then it was not going to work. But the chain list tool allows us to, um, you know, to, to have this information populated for us. So all we need to do is to go back and click the approve button, and then we can even switch to the Avalanche blockchain, right? Now, if we go back to the Avalanche um, wallet, I mean, sorry, to the MetaMask wallet today, and then I click the down arrow, we can see that now we have three different networks that, that are now connected uh, to our MetaMask wallet. So we can just switch between them as need be, right? Avalanche network, Ethereum, and BSC. All right. So um, let's say you want to, to log out of your MetaMask wallet. Maybe um, you are using a, a, a device that is also being used by other people. It's important that once, once you are done doing whatever you are doing, that you log, you, 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 you lock it, right? So what you would do is you go to the MetaMask icon and then you click on this round button here. And then, uh, sorry, uh, yes, actually, and then click on lock. So by so doing, you have locked your MetaMask wallet 
uh, only you can access it with the password that you, you would have created. Now to go back to your MetaMask wallet, just click um, the MetaMask icon there and then enter your password that you created when you were downloading your MetaMask wallet and then unlock it. And then your MetaMask wallet now is ready to be used, all right? Now let's go back. So we can even close this tool, but whenever you want to add a, another network to your MetaMask wallet, you would have to open chainlist.org and then connect another, another network, right? So uh, maybe let's add one more network. Um, let's add the Phantom network, right? So I will go to the search network button again, and then I will type uh, Phantom, right? So this is testnet. We are looking for the main net one. So we're just gonna click on add to MetaMask and, and just click approve and then connect and then switch to the network as well, right? So now if you go back to our MetaMask, now we have more than two networks or two blockchains that are connected to our MetaMask. We have initially by default, we had Ethereum and then we added Binance blockchain and then we added Avalanche blockchain and we just added the Phantom blockchain, all right? So let's just say you've been doing your research and then you came across this, um, this project or this uh, tool here called Joe. And then when you took a look, uh, a look at it and uh, did your research, you realize that um, you are interested in it. You want to buy it. So how would you go about buying it? Um, Okay, there is a little bit of feedback there. Okay, and it's taken care of. So now let's just, just, just say that you assume, uh, let's just assume that you want to buy Joe because you can buy and stake Joe, all right? So if you scroll down, you wanna check where can you buy it, on which exchange. You can just uh, remember that you go to markets, just like we covered yesterday. Then you can see that it's listed on Trader Joe, right? Which is a decentralized exchange similar to PancakeSwap and uh, similar to um, Uniswap. So you would just click on here. So now we are opening an exchange because remember the MetaMask is, 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 is your wallet. It allows you to store your cryptocurrency there, right? But in order to trade those cryptocurrencies, uh, you would need to connect it to a trading platform. In this case, we have just opened the, the Joe um, exchange, right? And then in order for you to be able to do that, what you would need to do is to click the connect button. So now we are connecting. In this case, we are connecting MetaMask, but if you are familiar with other wallets as well, you can connect them. But um, MetaMask is the, the biggest and um, the most popular wallet that you're gonna be using. And if you understand how to use MetaMask, it's going to be easier for you to even use other exchanges, right? And other wallets, right? So. Um, now, so now I need to switch to the Avalanche blockchain because uh, Joe is built on top of the Avalanche blockchain. So I'll just click on it there and then I click on switch, all right? And then now it is now connected because here it is now showing my, my address, right? So what I would have done is I would have bought some Avalanche uh, tokens and uh, maybe on Binance and then send them to my MetaMask wallet and then be able to then use the Joe platform to, to trade, right? So let's just close this one for now and let's go back to CoinGecko. And then this time let's uh, click on the search box there and let's go and check and check Phantom, right? Say for instance, you want to trade some Phantom, you want to buy some Phantom, you've done your research. And then when you take a look at the contract address here, you can see that uh, Phantom is built on top of the Ethereum blockchain, but there is uh, these three dots here. When you click on them, it shows that it is also compatible with what? With the Binance Smart Chain, Harmony, and so on and so forth. So it's a multi-chain uh, platform, right? So let's say you want to buy it using your MetaMask. What you would do is you would, uh, again, scroll down, to the market section so that you can see where it's listed. So when I click on markets, then you can see it's on Binance and so on and so forth. But in this case, we want to, 
to use a decentralized exchange, which is MetaMask, all right? So again, you would have sent your some 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 um, some um, phantom tokens from your Binance to your MetaMask wallet, so that you can be able to to then trade all the cryptocurrencies that are listed on um, the phantom blockchain, and also stake them if they provide uh, the opportunity to stake uh, those cryptocurrencies. All right. Right. Let's look for another one. Uh, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh, let's look for Spirit. Right, Spirit. Now, Spirit is one of the cryptocurrencies uh, that are listed on the Phantom blockchain, as you can see here. Right. So now, what I can do is I can first switch to the Phantom blockchain by going to the MetaMask icon there and then switch from Avalanche to the Phantom blockchain. And then now that I have done that, I can now come back here and uh, click the fog icon to add it to my MetaMask or just copy the contract address, right? And then go to my MetaMask. and then go to assets and then click on import tokens and then just paste the contract address there. It will automatically populate the symbol of the token that you have um, selected and the decimal place. All you need to do is to add it to your MetaMask um, wallet. So now if we go back under the Phantom blockchain, you can see that we have two cryptocurrencies now, Phantom and Spirit, right? So let's say, let's just say you want to buy some spirit tokens, and because maybe you want to uh, to um, to to um, to stake them, right? So again, the tags will remind you which blockchain is used uh, by that particular token, right? So if you scroll down and to check now which exchanges is, is it trading on, um, in this case we're looking for a decentralized exchange. So spirit swap themselves they have their own exchange, right? So if I click on here. And the spirit swap um, exchange is going to be displayed. And then in order for me to be able to do whatever I want to do here in the spirit swap um, exchange, like for instance, farming uh, exchange and so on and so forth, I first need to connect it to my MetaMask wallet, right? So I just click on the connect button and then click on MetaMask. And then press next and then connect it. So now the spirit swap uh, exchange is connected to my MetaMask wallet. And then now I can do whatever I want to do. For instance, I can swap some um, phantom tokens. Let's just say, for instance, I have, uh, I don't know, one phantom tokens and I want to buy, um, I want to use it to, to buy some uh, spirit token, right? So just specify there. And then I would go down a little bit. Then it shows me that uh, with one uh, phantom, I would get about 13 spirit tokens, right? So I'm exchanging some phantom tokens to spirit. And then I would, now it says insufficient um, uh, um, um, FTM balance because I do not have phantom on this uh, brand new MetaMask wallet. But basically that's how you would go about uh, connecting the trading platform like um, pancake swap, like unit swap, a unit swap, like spirit swap, uh, to your MetaMask wallet, so that you can be able to trade different cryptocurrencies through those um, blockchains. Right. So again, just to recap, what we have learned so far is to uh, install MetaMask and then uh, secure it with a uh, strong password and um, keep the 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 the, 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 what, the secret phrase safe, don't share it with anyone. And then once you have done that, uh, you can use the same um, uh, um, recovery phrase to, the, to, to import your wallet onto another device. Maybe you have a laptop, you have a desktop, you have a, um, a smartphone, you can use the very same uh, recovery phrase to then 
get access to the same wallet. Maybe you are traveling or maybe you want to be able to quickly take the market uh, on the go and maybe do some trades. So you can just download the app on your smartphone and then import it using your recovery phrase that you would have um, saved during this time when you were creating your MetaMask wallet from scratch, all right? So again, in order for you to be able to trade uh, different cryptocurrencies, you need to have a uh, the base currency for that particular blockchain. For this one, for example, we need to have some phantom so that we can be able to cover some small transaction fees when you are doing trades here. If you uh, if you were using the Binance um, blockchain, you would uh, need some BNB to buy other cryptocurrencies with it and also to cover some small transaction fees. All right, so um, I think um, you would have noticed that when we were creating our MetaMask wallet from scratch, there was no point where we were uh, asked to provide our names, our ID numbers, um, our proof of residence uh, or, or anything like that. No, there was nothing like that. Why? Because MetaMask is, is one of the uh, examples of uh, decentralized ex exchanges, right? You do not have to provide any personal information. That's why a lot of people uh, prefer to use um, decentralized, um, you know, um, wallets and decentralized uh, trading platforms. All right. Um, well, at this point, let me take your questions. Maybe from your questions and uh, contributions, um, we will uh, discover more things to, to explain when it, comes, when it comes to setting up um, your, um, your MetaMask wallet. So if you have a question, please unmute your mic, your mic and ask the question. Any questions so far? Okay, in the chat box, looks like there's something. Lesson was steep today. No, it's not, it's, I don't think so. Uh, you know, it's, it's very, very, very important, um, you know, to understand the basics, because if you can't set up your MetaMask wallet correctly, uh, you won't be able to do anything. And uh, Clinton, is it, uh, is it, um, generally possible to connect MetaMask to CoinGecko. Okay, now remember, Clinton, that CoinGecko is a, um, it's, 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 it's a research tool. It's, um, you are not going to trading through the, the CoinGecko um, platform or website. It is just a, 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 a research tool that you use um, to, to, to discover some uh, you know, opportunities or some projects that you then uh, trade through different decentralized exchanges and decentralized um, wallets like uh, MetaMask. So you are not going to be able to connect MetaMask to your to the CoinGecko platform because it is not a trading platform. You can't do it. Okay, let me see if we have more questions. Can I connect MetaMask to VAR? No, remember VAR is an example of a centralized exchange. It can only be connected to decentralized platforms or oh, the questions are coming quick and fast. Uh, okay, let me maximize this. Um, when you copied the phrase, where did you save it? So in my case, what I did is was to save it um, um, in the text document and make sure that uh, you do not share the text document that contains your seed phrase. And also, as much as you, 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 you it's important for you to be organized, but never ever uh, send it to maybe to your WhatsApp or to to your to your um, to your um, uh, Telegram account because uh, some people might steal it from there. So keep it offline as much as uh, as, as possible. So, Bashir, did you manage to take a video today? Uh, yes. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to. I'll be able to. You know, to um, to share this one as well. Um, Don Benche. Mina Musangi Salili. By the time you were connecting the MetaMask um, on the on the what on the on the, on the coin. Okay, don't worry, Zinche. What I will do is I will send you a recording. You can um, you know uh, see exactly where we started. To me, can I connect MetaMask to Luna Ova? Okay, to me uh, again. You cannot connect uh, MetaMask to um, 
to uh, centralized exchanges like Luna, Ova, Binance, Alcon Trader. You can only connect it to decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap, like Uniswap, like SpiritSwap, like um, Joe, and so on and so forth. Okay, I have a hand that is raised. Good Africa, so far, everything is clear. Okay, thank you for that feedback, Mr. Africa. All right, um, I thought I saw a hand. Yes. Yes, Dabu. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay, let's hear. Sorry, I wanted to find out if um, Bidu and Staking are the same or they are similar or if they are different, what is the difference? Sorry, sir, can you rephrase the question? I said I want to find out the difference between uh, if Ido, staking and Ido, IDO are the same or if they are different. IDO staking. IDO and staking, are they the same thing? Uh, yeah, no, they're, they're not the same thing, right? IDO, now remember that IDO stands for what? For initial DEX offering, right? Yes. And then, um, and then staking means that you would have a number of tokens that um, that you that, that you would have purchased on um, on your wallet, and then you can be able to stake those in order for you to be able to earn even more tokens, right? So IDOs, um, they are IDO uh, launchpad platforms that um, that allow small companies or even big companies to launch their product through those launchpad through those the, through those IDO launch pads, right? So IDOs are about launching um, of new projects. And then once those projects have launched and are available for trading, you can then uh, trade them through your MetaMask. I don't know if that answers your question. Yes, thank you. Okay, Kostaf, thank you so much for your question. It looks like, it looks like I have more questions um, in the chat box. Let me scroll down a little bit. You spoke about having a base token in order to trade. How does one go about to obtain the, the base token, right? Now, no, thank you so much Nobile, for that question. Now, remember, the, uh, let's just say again, you were doing your research and, and you came across this uh, token called uh, Spirit Swap, right? And then when you were looking at its uh, price history, you noticed that at some point, at some point, let me just go up a bit and I want to go to, to the overview tab, right? Now, when you were looking, uh, just doing your, your, your due diligence, you notice that um, last month, I mean, sorry, four months ago, this token was worth about, about two cents, right? And then um, two months, it went as high as 63 cents. And then when you take a look at the current price right now, you can see that it's around about um, 18 cents, right? So let's say you are seeing an opportunity that if you were to buy it now, and then if when it goes back to 63 cents, you, uh, you would have made profit, uh, you can cash out, all right? So now, how do you know which one is the best currency, right? For, for this particular token here, Spirit, if you go to market, and then you can see that uh, the Spirit Swap platform itself, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a DAX, it's a decentralized exchange. The base currency is the one on the left. Like for instance, in this case, WFTM, Spirit, and so on and so forth. So the, basically the base currency is the, is, is the currency of the blockchain uh, on which that platform is built. For, for, for example, in this case, Spirit Swap is built on top of the, of the Phantom blockchain, right? So now the base currency is going to be Phantom in this particular example, right? But if we go back to the MetaMask icon there and then uh, switch to a, a Binance blockchain, uh, let's say for instance, um, you were doing your research again and you came across uh, a project called let me check which one are we going to to use. Um, okay, fine. Let's just go with 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 BNB, right? Because we are on the Binance blockchain. So, in order for you to be able to trade uh, uh, tokens that are uh, that that are built on top of the Binance blockchain, it means that you'd have to have the base currency. In this case, the base currency is what is BNB. So, in other words, you would send some BNB from your Binance account 
to your MetaMask wallet so that you can be able to trade all the cryptocurrencies that are that are based on the Binance blockchain. Let me quickly go to my portfolio there. And then I just want to list all the platforms that are built on top of the of the of the of the of the Binance blockchain so that uh, we can take a look at. So here, Binance Smart Chain ecosystem. Remember, I, I did uh, you know I teach, I teach you guys how to create these uh, categories uh, so that you can group all the cryptocurrencies accordingly, right? So now, what we're gonna we should be able to see now is to see all the cryptocurrencies that are built or that are compatible with the Binance blockchain, and then uh, we're gonna pick one of them and pretend as, as if we are interested in it, and then um, see how we, we would go about trading it, right? So right here we have Meta Hero, right? So if I click on Meta Hero, right, the Meta Hero page will be displayed. And then if you take a look at the contract address, just under, under info here, the contract address shows us that this particular token is built on top of the what? Of the Binance blockchain. Again, let's just assume that you have done your due diligence. You are now ready to start trading it. You would go down to the markets tab to check which platforms or which exchanges is it available on, right? So if you prefer to use um, decentralized exchanges, you would use PancakeSwap. But if you already have maybe a KuCoin account, you can use KuCoin and so on and so forth, right? So let's just say you want to use a, a decentralized exchange because you want to stake it as well. So you would click. So in, in, in this case, hero slash B, uh, WBNB, the base currency is still BNB, even though it's on the right-hand side. But because uh, hero is built on top of the Binance blockchain, uh, you need to have BNB in the first place in order for you to be able to buy all the other cryptocurrencies that are built on top of the Binance blockchain, right? So now I'm connecting, I'm connecting PancakeSwap Exchange with my MetaMask, right? So now that I have done that, um, again, I would have bought, um, I would have sent some BNB from my Binance account to my uh, MetaMask wallet. And then once it reflects, if you go to your MetaMask icon here, and then, um, you will see the balance of your BNB that you have here, right? So you would just uh, buy some BNB on Binance and send them to your uh, MetaMask wallet. And then once it, it, it reflects here, then you would um, indicate that you want to use some BNB, right? And then now in this case, it, it, it listed, it, it lists as hero and then BNB. But let's assume that you want to buy BNB. You don't have you don't have hero yet, so you want to use your BNB some BNB to 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 buy some hero tokens. So you would uh, switch because you want to trade from Binance or BNB tokens to 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 hero in this case, right? So um, then you would say, for instance, uh, I want to buy uh, let's say say one thousand hero tokens, right? And then um, you would need to have um, a balance that is going to cover the transaction fees and also be able to uh, buy you in this case 1000 tokens of the of the hero platform so basically the base currency is the native currency for that particular blockchain that you are working with in this case we are looking at the binance blockchain so the native uh, currency is bnb right so i hope that uh, covers your question mobile let me switch back to the Chat box and double check and check if there are more questions. All right, uh, we spoke about okay. Uh, just covered that one so badly. Namit uh, today is a little bit um, okay. Um, digital Abdul. Well, thanks. So how can we know how many networks are connected to our, our, our wallet and also how to disconnect them? Right. Okay. That's uh, that's a good question. Um, there is a way of you know uh, of, of displaying the, uh, the the blockchains that are connected or uh, all the other systems. It could be a blockchain, it could be a trading platform like PancakeSwap that are connected to your MetaMask wallet, right? So you would go to MetaMask, right, and then um, and then go to and then go to to, to this little menu here, these three dots and then go to connected sites, right? So now you can see that this is the list of the sites that I have connected to my MetaMask. Now, in order to delete them, 
uh, you just click the delete button here. If I click on delete, and then I can just disconnect chain list. If I wanted to to um, to to, do, to disconnect uh, spirit swap, I would just do the same thing and just disconnect it from my MetaMask. So that's how you would go about doing that um, on your MetaMask. I hope that covers your question. If not, please follow up and uh, let me know. And then Clinton <laughs> Kaliso says. Uh, very hard to grasp all of this information in one lesson. Yeah, I, I do understand, Kali. So, uh, yeah, especially if you are still, um, you know, brand spanking you in the cryptocurrency uh, space. But um, the more you do just small transactions, really, uh, just start small and just start doing some uh, small transactions. Like, for instance, just send some BNB from your balance uh, account to your MetaMask address, and then just start doing some transactions. Um, once you have done a couple of transactions, you'll get used to it and you would actually know and, and, and see how easy it is to work with these platforms um, eventually. MTG, what about uh, test nets? Because looking at um, that one here, I don't know, but uh, I think it's still on the test net uh, pay stage. So how can we go about um, regarding this? Okay, uh, Clinton. Um, Testnet will be used uh, will, be, will be used by uh, by developers of uh, different uh, uh, you know projects if they want to test their um, their platform to see that it connects correctly with the MetaMask wallet and so on and so forth they would use Testnet but as as users of these platforms we do not need to use Testnet because as the as, as, as the name uh, you know um, suggests it's just a testing environment that you would uh, be um, doing. Or maybe if 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 you if you if 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 the, if the, the creator of the system or project um, ask a number of users to uh, to test their product before they the, before they deploy it to the to, to to the main network, then they would ask you to use testnet. They would even give you free tokens to 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 play with. But again, it is a testing environment, not the live environment. I hope that answers your question, uh, Mr. Clinton. And then user says, while well, you are on BNB, I tried to verify my account um, to no avail. So I'm assuming that he was trying to verify his um, Binance account because as I explained, uh, with uh, MetaMask wallet, you don't have to verify anything. You just create it and keep your secret phrase, that's all. So uh, if you were trying to verify or to get your uh, Binance uh, account verified, but um, it was uh, failing, you might want to write to a Binance um, support and um, send them all your documents that you were using to try to get your account verified and then um, they can verify it manually. Does it depend on the camera quality? Yes, uh, if, if, if some of your documents are not clear, that might be the, the, the reason why your verification was um, declined. Um, I was using my um, laptop built camera. Yeah, sometimes uh, the, the, those cameras are not uh, as clear as a smartphone, a smartphone camera. But as I said, if you can just maybe go uh, straight and send your documents directly to, um, to Binance um, support, they can manually uh, verify your account. Okay, so Mumbele is feeding back. She says that she understood what I was uh, explaining to her. And uh, yes, Digital also confirms that, she, that he got it. Then Africa says, um, for those who are around uh, Deben, we can meet up and I can assist them. So if you happen to have some challenges and you are based here in South Africa, Mr. Africa is um, availing himself. I'm also available as well. We can meet and uh, sit down and uh, configure everything and then get you started. Um, yes, so it, it, it appears that um, some people are around Deben. Um, would do me. I also wish I uh, was in <laughs> New Lens. I uh, would appreciate that. Okay, cool. Uh, let me see. Now, I didn't want this uh, this lesson to be too long because really uh, we were just covering the basics of setting up your MetaMask wallet, and I think we have done that. So. Um, Well, we, but we only have four minutes in this session anyway, right? But uh, let's just um, uh, get some more questions if there are um, um, some more questions. And Clinton says, um, regarding my, uh, my answer about testnet, yes, I answered. Okay, thank you so much, um, Clinton, for that feedback, right? So it's, it's very, very important that you set up your MetaMask correctly because that's where the meet input titles is. 
is at because if you are if you don't have a MetaMask wallet, it means that you won't be able to do things like staking, like farming, like participating in IDO launchpad uh, opportunities. So your homework tonight and tomorrow during the day is to set up your MetaMask wallet either on your smartphone, on your laptop, or on on all your devices. So make sure that you have a working and correctly configured MetaMask wallet. And also I did uh, show you how to also connect different blockchains to your MetaMask. Like for instance, by default, it defaults to the Ethereum blockchain, but um, maybe you want to, 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 to deal with tokens that are on different platforms or different blockchains like uh, BSC, like Avalanche, Phantom, and so on and so forth. So you need to be able to, to do that as well. Alrighty, so um, I think that will be it for this session. If you still have MetaMask versus uh, Trust Wallet, now Trust Wallet is um, is a wallet that was created by I mean not it was not created by Binance, but it was um, it was um, bought by Binance. So if you are if you are familiar with Trust Wallet, you can use uh, Trust Wallet as well. Um, but sometimes we find that some newer tokens uh, would not be listed on the Trust Wallet. So you would uh, need to go to MetaMask because MetaMask is a decentralized exchange and uh, it can um, list almost all the tokens that are old and new. And another thing is that with Trust Wallet, there is no um, browser extension, but with MetaMask, you can download it on your phone. You can also use the, 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 the Chrome uh, extension as well. Alrighty, so we have two minutes in this session. We have two minutes in this session. Uh, are, any other, are there any other questions um, about Clever Wallet? Um, well, the Clever is also another wallet that you can use, but again, uh, most of the tokens are not going to be listed there. But if the token that you want to trade, you want to stake is available on the, on the Clever Wallet, uh, of course you can use your Clever Wallet. Uh, you can use, um, even um, what is this one here? Yeah, Single Cotiba, but um, it's another different. I mean, it's, it's another decentralized wallet as well, which is going to be the Tron Link Tron Link wallet. But then again, you do need the MetaMask wallet because the Binance blockchain or the, the Binance system understand all the all, all the, the the tokens that might be listed on. On, 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 the, on, the, on the MetaMask wallet. So if you are trying to buy something um, on Clever Wallet, on Trust Wallet, but it's not there, it is most likely that you're gonna get it um, if you use MetaMask wallet. We just have one minute remaining. And I believe that we have covered uh, everything that we needed to cover tonight, setting up your MetaMask wallet, very, very important. Otherwise you won't be able to do what you're supposed to do. Alrighty, um, okay, the chat box is still busy. Let me go back to the chat box. Okay, cool. Uh, it's just uh, uh, the thank you messages in the chat box. Nobody wants to speak today. It's okay, but I can I can see that you are participating though. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, okay, so um, that would be it for uh, tonight's um, session. Um, again, please, please, please make sure make sure that you that you um, that you that you get your MetaMask wallet sorted before tomorrow or before the tomorrow's uh, session, right? Because tomorrow, um, I can see that someone is asking me, what are we going to be covering tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're going to be getting to the meat and quotitos of actually staking some uh, different cryptocurrencies. That's what we're gonna be looking at tomorrow. How to stake, for instance, for instance how to stake um, on a pancake swap, how to stake on um, Pacoca, how to stake on, um, on other different uh, cryptocurrency exchanges like Avalanche, and also just explain the, 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 the terms that are associated with uh, staking 
like for instance, uh, single staking, dual staking, APY, APR, uh, and so on and so forth. So tomorrow that's what we're gonna be covering. So again, that's why I am encouraging all of you to make sure that uh, by tomorrow's uh, session, you already have your MetaMask set up correctly so that you can follow along after that session and start to, to really play with the system. Uh, so, but hi, Chief. Thanks again with your time. I hope we're going to have a good lesson. Like, okay. Thank you so much, Sebastian, for the feedback. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, that's it. That's it, guys. That's it for, for, this, uh, for this session. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your participation. Thank you so much for all your questions. Uh, very informative uh, session. Thanks. Okay, cool. Uh, so, I'm going to end this session. Um, and we will meet again, same place, same time. Use the same link uh, to join tomorrow's uh, session where we're going to be diving even deeper and doing actual transactions um, through the MetaMask wallet and um, uh, decentralized exchanges like PancakeSwap. All right. So uh, with all of that being said, my name is Moussa the Giant from Deben, South Africa. Let's get this crypto.